my channel thank you so much for being here and watching this video so in today's video i am doing a new in autumn haul with different brands but some new pieces that have entered my wardrobe over the last like two weeks and pieces that i just thought might be nice to show you guys in a video they are my first coats that have entered my wardrobe or my life for the last like five and a half six months i haven't purchased any jackets or anything for six and a half months and finally I have some that have entered the wardrobe because for once I'm in a jumper. It's the 6th of September and I'm in a jumper because I'm that cold. But yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to show you guys and share with you all some of the pieces that have just entered my wardrobe this week, some of the pieces I've been really kindly gifted and just kind of kickstart the autumn hauls because I know there's going to be a lot coming for me. I do want to do like how to style different pieces different ways and like working on showing you guys statement pieces that I feel are really, really great to have in your wardrobe in autumn. So there's going to be a few of them coming as well after this one. But to kickstart it all, I'm going to show you guys the new in pieces that I've received. So to start off this gorgeous misguided coat, honestly insane i saw emma graceland on instagram she was talking about this in her stories and i was like what a coat so i thought you know what if i'm gonna have one main coat that is brown in my wardrobe to last me the whole of winter it's gonna be this one <laughs> and i'm so glad i got it i actually got this in a size eight so i was gonna go oversized at first and then i was like you know what i think i do want it to just be over one jumper or over a t-shirt with jeans and i just love this it's super snuggly and it's a really nice like suede on the inside so really really soft but not so you're gonna like overheat but I just love it. I love this little like aviator buckle detail that it has on it as well. And great for just chucking over like a dress at the moment and a pair of boots or just jeans and a tee. So this is going to be like my everyday wear coat for moving into autumn. And I'm so excited to start wearing it. Moving on, I also got this little dress from Misguided. This is this little zebra print smock dress. I just love the detailing on the sleeves. I thought these were super cute, like raunched in at the sleeves and then very flared. And I just bought this with a pair of black boots would be a little bit different. I love the style of smock dresses. I feel like they're really flattering, really easy to kind of style with big chunky coats as well as leather jackets and boots boots and things like that and just again with like a pair of trainers just easy to dress up and down I got this to many style with like a pair of little black boots and a little jacket and actually the coat that I'm going to show you next I now that I've got it I'm like I definitely need to style these two pieces together because I just like the colors between like this gray and black and then this purple <laughs> that I'll show you but yeah I just thought this was gorgeous really easy to kind of wear in winter as well and kind of have as more of like an evening attire dress next up look at this i wish you guys could feel this i honestly these, there are so many moments when i'm filming where i'm like wish you could smile through the screen and i wish you could feel the coats or the textures of clothing i'm one of those people that go into stores and i'm like this like on the rails <laughs> because i just love when there's clothes that are really soft and i hate itchy things so this coat is a dream <laughs> for me. I just want to be wrapped up in it. This is from Misguided and this is a size eight big false fur coat. And I just wanted something that was quite snuggly. I thought this would be gorgeous just for like winter wonderland, Christmas time with, again, I love styling big coats like this. It's like the main piece and having like jeans, chunky boots and a nice little tee or shirt underneath. I feel like they make outfits and when it gets to winter, it's all about kind of layering and having the statement coat pieces, I feel like. So this was one of those coats I just thought would be gorgeous for that. But anyway, yeah, I just love the colour. I thought this was really gorgeous. And then like with that little um, zebra print dress, I actually thought it might be a little bit different and work quite nicely together with like the grey. So that's something that I was thinking might work nice. Next up, again, a very snuggly coat. <laughs> this is from Boohoo. I just thought this was gorgeous. This is more of a cropped jacket compared to the first one I showed you guys. And obviously it's this like false snuggly fur type jacket and it has a bit more wider sleeve so I feel like this is kind of one of those like smock style crop jackets if that makes sense because it fits more oversized and I like that style again went for a size 8 I feel like I went oversized in some of these but maybe I didn't maybe this is just meant to be like oversized style but I love this collar how just oh yeah 
I love it. I'm like, there's loads of fluff floating around now because I've been <laughs> touching it, but just so gorgeous. I love snuggly coats. So very excited to start wearing this when I'm home. And I just think this color is gorgeous at the moment. With like a pair of brown boots, even like a little pair of court heels on a night out with a little black clutch bag. I'm just, so many ideas. <laughs> but yeah, love this color and super, super soft. So love that one. Next, uh, two pieces I just wanted to add in and show you guys. This haul's kind of like little bits that I've picked up that are new in in my life and autumnal and things that I'm kind of taking in into October, November. So one of them was this gorgeous little satin like crop bralette from Zara. I thought this was stunning. And I just thought for nights out over like October, November, I feel like November's the season when I start getting like my sparkly outfits out and satin pieces like this. I just loved the gold and thought this was gorgeous for going into kind of like party season and like with a pair of jeans, little court heels, and then like an oversized false fur like black jacket or leather jacket would be quite nice just as like the statement piece of an outfit and just to add a bit of like shimmer i love a bit of gold so very excited about that that was from zara and i went for a size small in that i think the extra small was a little bit too tight and even now i'm like a size c in bra size so i felt like the small would be perfect and yeah smashing i love it so so good then again from Zara. I've been on a few Zara trips this week, can't get enough. Honestly, their autumn stuff in store at the moment is just incredible. If you haven't been in, go in, you will find something, I promise. <laughs> it's like every time I go in, I come out with something and I don't mean to, I meant to go in just to have a little browse, get some inspiration. And then I'm like, oh, but that would be so nice with this. <laughs> so I need to stop, but I did get this. <laughs> I thought this was super cute. It's like a sheer little check white blouse, but it has these like warmth around the arms and then makes it a bit more like puffed around the sleeve, which I'm obsessed with puff sleeves at the moment. If you hadn't already guessed from my other videos, but I just thought this was lovely with like a little white bralette underneath and a pair of jeans. But then also because I'm still going on holiday, I styled it originally with like a little white skirt again with like my little white Calvin Klein bralette and yeah, some little sandals. But I just thought this would be super cute as well for autumn and just layering with like chunky coats and things like that and boots and having it as kind of like a nice evening blouse. Now another one from Zara, this one, <laughs> how stunning is this honestly i'm obsessed <laughs> if you could describe me as a top this would be it it would be sheer pink and puff sleeved and i found it and i was wasn't gonna buy it i was like do i need it no i don't and then i was like oh no and i tried it on and then i sent it to the group chat and then all the girls replied and they were like you've got to get one of the pieces that you've just tried on because they're all fab and so i did <laughs> and I love it and I'm glad I did because I just think this is beautiful again very similar to like the white one I had the idea of kind of still wearing it on holiday and having it for summer and spring as well as moving in for like party season and styling it with like a little pink lace bralette and like leather look like fake shorts like buckled shorts but then also jeans court heels there's honestly so many ways it's like nice top and jeans so i thought this would be really nice for this and also really love this little tie that it's got at the back as well super cute next up a little different for me this is from boohoo i've still got the, the tag on it but i thought this would be super cute i'm really loving florals at the moment and as i said i'm already really loving puff sleeves and like details on the sleeves and i just thought something like this would be quite nice to move in to autumn and it's a little play suit with a little pair of boots and i just thought it was super cute and i'm really enjoying having lots of florals in my wardrobe at the moment and a bit more color and prints and that kind of thing so i thought this would be a really nice addition to the wardrobe to kind of take me through into autumn but still have that kind of summer feel just in case we get any warm days still i'm still hoping summer hasn't left but I'm feeling the fact that I'm in a knit on the 6th of September means that it's probably gonna get colder. And by the time I'm back from Ibiza in a week, I think it is meant to be chilly. So I thought that would be nice, again, with just like little boots or some high knee boots and a coat. 
Next up, I've actually put these on the same hanger because I wanted to style them together. So I'll start with the coat. This is from Boohoo. Again, I'm really loving kind of like this brown beige coat look at the moment. I feel like there's a lot of really amazing brown and beige coats around. I've looked in Topshop and they've got those amazing structured long line coats and they're gorgeous. I just I mean, I have mine from last year, so I don't need any more of them. I do keep the coats that I know work for me. So I've got a wardrobe full of a few different coats, but I love the long line style of Topshot. They bring them out every year and just the colours are gorgeous. They're always like these browns as well. So the browns and beiges I love. This was for like... Honestly, I got this in my head and I was like, just imagining me being in Cornwall, going for dog walks, having something I can chuck on that's really snuggly. And this is just this kind of like snuggle button ball jacket coat. And I just love this. I thought it was super cute. I went for a size 10. So I usually, like I just shown you guys, I'm usually between a size six and eight in coats, but I like sometimes going bit bigger than my normal size because I find that they're nicer to layer with jumpers underneath and like big chunky knits. So got that for that and I just love the shape I feel like the jacket shape is gorgeous so I'm excited to start wearing that and then I got this gorgeous spotty oh just whip myself in the face I got this gorgeous spotty dress this is from boohoo and it really reminded me of the Zara spotty dress that I missed out on while I was traveling and I just thought there's such nice pieces to have these like long dresses with little black boots for autumn and I just think any like floral or spot dresses at the moment are just so autumnal and gorgeous so I wanted to add this to my life and with that coat I really liked them style together which is unlike me because I'm usually one of those people that sticks between like two colors matching I don't usually mix color sometimes so like I wouldn't usually put like black and white with like a brown but at the moment I'm really trying to like push myself out there and style stuff differently together and practice a bit more of colors and adding more colors to my wardrobe and that kind of thing so I thought this was actually really nice with this coat oversized over the shoulders with little black boots next up some jeans <laughs> so the first pair of jeans I wanted to show you guys they are these jeans from Misguided. So these are Misguided Riot Mum Jeans. I love Riot Mum Jeans. I always have. I have about four pairs from two and a half years ago. They still are in my wardrobe and I've kept them ever since. But I just love the fit of these. They're super, super comfy. And I basically, coming home from being away, I no longer fit in my old jeans. <laughs> so although I'm hoping I will fit in them again I just needed like two different statement jeans in my life actually three because I'm about to show you another pair but they're cream so it's a different story but two pairs of blue jeans that I know are going to fit me that I know are comfy and I can just chuck on with a like jumper and these are the ones that I went for I got them in a size 8 and I just thought the leg length of these are gorgeous I love the raw hem at the bottom I think they go really nicely when you're wearing boots when you've got that raw hem detail but again I thought these were super lovely just to add into my life because I don't fit in any of my other jeans and I needed some comfy ones. <laughs> then the next pair of jeans, so I was really, really kindly asked to go into New Look in London this week and I was gifted some of their Tory jeans, which if you followed me on YouTube for a while, or on Instagram for a while, you will know that Tory jeans in New Look are my all time favorite jeans. I have a few pairs of them, but I've never owned a ripped pair of Tory jeans because I've always been like, it's more practical just to get the ones without the rips. I don't need the ripped ones. And then when they kindly asked me to come in and like try a few pieces on, I fell in love with these gorgeous blue ones with the knee rips. I just thought they were so classic and the color blue I love. I've actually decided to roll them quite differently to how I used to. So I roll, I've done like thick rolls around the ankle, but I quite like like how they look with some Doc Martens on. So I'm enjoying wearing these. I've already worn them like four times or something. But again, just like a really comfy jean. And I feel like if you're a bit on and off about mum jeans and you're not sure whether they work for you or the fit, I've always found that sometimes mum jeans can fit round your thighs, but not your bum and not your waist or the other way around. And there's, it's always hard to kind of work out what size you might be. So I find that the Tory jeans at New Look are kind of that mix of being high-waisted. Because they're more of a straight leg, they fit better when you put them on. So there's no like tight hugging feel. They just kind of hold you in around your waist and then your bum and then they've got that straight leg. So I really, really like these and the style of these and always have. So it was really nice to be kindly gifted that from the girls at New Look. So 
very happy with that. Very happy that I finally have some jeans I can wear because I've been living in my storette skirt for like the last two weeks since being home. So it's nice to actually wear some jeans <laughs> and not leggings and a skirt which has been lovely. And then I also really kindly was gifted this blue knit from New Look. Oh my God, guys, they're knits at the moment. I had to stop myself from getting a few knits. I was like, I only need one. <laughs> I was like, I don't need any more. Um, but again, with the blue, I really like putting two blues together. I feel like with those blue jeans and the blue knit, I love this kind of double, not that it's double denim, but this double blue look. So I've done this before in the past from New Look. They had this gorgeous um, blue leopard jumper in. And I remember I styled my old non-rip Tory jeans with them. And I just saw this and I thought, how gorgeous is this knit? It's very like soft. It's got this cute little like crochet detailing. And I just like the high neck. I feel like it's not too much. Sometimes with raw necks, I feel claustrophobic in them. <laughs> so if that's all right, if that makes sense. But I find that sometimes it's too much when there's the roll on a raw neck and I get a bit hot and bothered. So I like something that's just a high neck still, but not too over the top around the neck. And I thought the colour was gorgeous. Next, a very exciting piece. <laughs> Again, I've put this with the pieces that I'm styling it with. So this oh, just excites me so much. Miss Selfridge have started to bring out their autumn pieces and they're going to be slowly like coming in over September into October. And I'm so excited. This jacket is one of them. How stunning is this check? So, so gorgeous. I remember, it must have been last year, but even this year, like m and are doing those like tucker jackets that Topshop was doing as well. And I just love the style of checks. This is more of a cropped version, but I just think it's gorgeous. I love this orange and black and white like coloring and I just, yeah, I'm obsessed. It's so, so stunning. This actually though, one of the things, because it's petite, so it's slightly more cropped on, I find that still as a jacket, anyone could wear it even though it's cropped. But I did get, I did get a size 12. So usually I, but with like Miss Selfridge jackets, I usually go up to a size 12 in all their coats and jackets, just so that they fit, that I can still layer them with jumpers underneath when it comes to like winter time. So that's one of the things that I would say with the jackets from Miss S, just to like try on a few different sizes if you haven't already in store before ordering, but just obsessed with this, so, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So how I've decided to style it, because I've had these two pieces in my wardrobe for a while, and I was like, I didn't know what to style them with. I was like, I'm waiting for a jacket that is really gonna like kind of make it stand out. And I love ribbed sets. Like Topshop did some gorgeous cream top and skirts. And Miss S have also done this gorgeous white ribbed tee. And then this lovely, like, it's a really thick material. So it's like this thick white skirt with the tie so you can tie it up as well. But I just love this, it's gorgeous on, like such a gorgeous shape. And I styled this with the jacket. So if I can, I'll leave a little picture on the screen here. Just showing you guys how I styled it with the Doc Martens as well. But I just love these two pieces together. I feel like they really complement each other, like colouring wise. And both from Miss S. So if you haven't been in store, go and check out their jackets and their little like two piece sets. They're just smashing it at the moment. So, so good. Something a little unlike me, but something I really wanted to include in this video. I don't often go into Primark and shop for like anything. I haven't been in a long time. And the only time I ever usually do is when I'm, I mean, a few times when I've gone in with like friends and then I end up coming out of loads of things without realizing. So I decided to go into Primark and just have a look at their coat, see their different like like jackets and coats and parkas that they had coming in at the moment. And I actually fell in love with this gorgeous dress, which I'm gonna leave on the screen here because it's at my mum's, but I'm gonna leave it on the screen here so you can see it. And they had this massive oversized black parka and I was like, I actually really like the two together. But then I also saw this <laughs> and I was like, I really like the green khaki. And this is like this jacket styled jacket with this like, with the black button detailing. And again, I just thought the shape of this was gorgeous on. I love this kind of structured, but like cropped around the waist jackets at the moment. And the collars, I think they're, so so perfect for layering with knits and like jeans and a tee so went for this because mainly the color i loved and again i'll leave a little picture on the screen but i also styled this with the dress i wanted to do like two ways to style the dress going into autumn on my feed and it was only i think this was only like 18 pounds <laughs> 
<laughs> just blown away. Um, I did get this in a size large because I wanted it to be oversized so that I can layer a lot with it. But again, just love the coloring. And if you saw my last haul that I did with the Pretty Little Thing trainers, the fact that the khaki on the trainers matches this jacket so perfectly, I was just like, oh my God, it's meant to be. So loved this, just thought it was super gorgeous. And they do have some really nice structured jackets in at the moment. So if you're looking for that kind of style like this, then they've got a few different colors in store, which I love. But that was in London. So I don't know about the Brighton store, but if you're in London, have a look. And if it's in the Brighton store, I'll let you guys know. But I won't be able to link that down below, but I just wanted to show you because it's gorgeous. Now moving on to some H&M pieces. So again, I was so kindly gifted to go in and check out some of their autumn pieces coming in. And every time I go into H&M showroom, I am blown away by the pieces. I always fall in love with like everything in there. And they have so many gorgeous like beiges and false fur coats coming in. They have so many snuggly coats in the H&M in London. I went in yesterday and I was like, I didn't realize the coats were coming out this soon and autumn was starting already. I wasn't that prepared, but I did want to show you guys some of the pieces I picked up from there. I, yeah, I'm just gonna show you instead of me just sitting here telling you why I sh chose them. <laughs> but first up is this gorgeous Czech red skirt. So this is this little like buckled, detailed skirt. I never usually go for skirts in winter, I think I, only ever earned one uh, that's been a check like this before and I was like do you know what mix it up try something new with a little pair of boots like black jumper black tee like with this knit I'd probably style it with quite a lot of some little black boots but I just think when they've got this detailing like red and cream it works really nice with black statement pieces or even like a cream knit or jumper so I thought this would be really easy to kind of wear with a few different things and I just loved how cute it was and one of the reasons why I did just think oh I've got to get that was because of this this insane cherry plum coat it is incredible honestly they have black gray cream and I think a beige version of this in store but I was like red it reminds me of Christmas it's gorgeous it's gonna last me forever and with that skirt I mean Wow, what a combo. So that's <laughs> that's why I fell in love with that. But I'm gonna leave a little picture on the screen as well as my little like styling video here. But just so gorgeous, such amazing quality and stunning. I got a size medium in that. So again, a bit more oversized so I can style it with knits and things like that. But I just love how snug it was. I was actually wearing it on my shoot day yesterday with Sarah and it was so windy and cold. And I was like, I'm so glad I'm in a coat. I didn't know that I would be glad to be in a coat only five days into September, but I was. <laughs> so that's that one that I wanted to show you all. And now for another combo that I got together, another pair of jeans. But again, reminding that I only own three pairs of jeans now that fit me. <laughs> so these actually, I wasn't expecting them to fit me or for me to like the shape in the way that I did, but Honestly, put them on and I was like, I don't think a pair of jeans have ever fit me this well in my life, like ever. And these are the H&M, I don't know what to tell you because they don't have a name on them, but <laughs> these gorgeous styled cream jeans, like how stunning is the detailing around the waist? I just love that. They're not like paper bag, but they've got this gorgeous structure and they're kind of like balloon leg. So they come out around your legs, but then go in around the ankles. And I just thought the shape was so gorgeous. I haven't felt that comfy in a pair of jeans in a long time. And I went for a size eight in these, which seems to be what I'm going for size wise at the moment with like jeans and things like that. But just thought the color was gorgeous. And again, the reason why I thought I need that in my life it's because of this gorgeous jacket. <laughs> How stunning is this? This is a suede cream jacket and it's just beautiful. I don't think I've owned something this beautiful in my wardrobe in my life. And I think my grandma's going to like this because her colorings and like what she wears are all like this. So I'm excited to kind of take it to Cornwall and be like, do you like my new jacket? <laughs> but I just thought this was gorgeous, super stunning, like silver buttons down the front and then this really nice pocket detailing on the side here and these big, big pockets at the front. I just can't get over how stunning this is. 
so I thought pairing these together would be really nice as kind of like a beige look with that little satin bra that I showed you from Zara. I just thought it'd be gorgeous for like nights out as well, just to mix it up from wearing all black and wear something a bit different. But again, this with like a little like smock dress, a little cami dress, just layered over the top. Very happy about that little combo and just gorgeous material. So again, if you guys like beige and this kind of color, like H&M have just filled a whole floor in London just of this, <laughs> pretty much. I went in and I was just in awe of it all. It was gorgeous. So next up, again, another two pieces I thought would be gorgeous styling together. And I have already photographed as well, so I will leave a little picky on the screen. But this amazing knit, this is probably the softest knit I've ever owned. I think it might be cashmere. Oh my God, it is cashmere. I didn't realize that. Premium quality cashmere. Yeah, this is cashmere. This is gorgeous. This is this gorgeous like cream cashmere jumper with the detailing on the sleeves here. So it fits really nicely and kind of hangs nicely with this little high neck around the neckline. I got this in a size medium just to have more oversized as I was styling it with this skirt. How beautiful is this? So I was so drawn between two skirts that H&M have at the moment. They have this beautiful pink one, but then they have also those like satin cami kind of skirts. And I really, I'm always drawn to those skirts, but I was like, I've had them before. I've like loved them. I've got like a black one in my wardrobe. I was like, do something a little bit different that I can style with trainers, but also style with espadrilles and kind of have for different seasons and for weddings. Like I just thought that this would be stunning to have a piece that I can kind of just wear anywhere and style so differently, even with like a white blazer and a little bralette or like a tee, just, Honestly, anyway, but I styled it, just what I'm gonna leave on the screen here with the knit and some espadrilles, just as like we're coming out of summer going into autumn, because I just thought that'd be so nice. And then I really wanted to style it with a pair of white chunky Balenciagas, but I don't own any. So I can only dream about that or just style them with my classic white trainers that I have. But I thought add a little bit of height with the skirt just for, just making the look complete with that kind of cream espadrille sandal as well. But I just think, honestly, these pieces are stunning and H&M is smashing it. I think Zara and H&M right now, I just keep finding myself falling into and being like, oh, more pieces that are just so gorgeous. So I'm having to like really slow myself down and know that I've got enough pieces to last me pretty much the whole of autumn at the moment. But again, just thought this combo was gorgeous. So wanted to style them together and have them for like my autumn wardrobe. Lastly, I just wanted to show you guys these little leg booties. So I have a lot of boots in my life that I, when I was working at Topshop, I actually, with my uniform discount that I had when I was there, I just kind of added to my wardrobe as I was there over the three years and I've kept them in pretty good condition. So I have enough boots. I don't tend to shop for boots anymore. I kind of just keep the ones that I've got and have like those statement boots. But I thought it would be nice to have a sock boot because I don't have any boots like this that was a bit more lower heel that I could wear with a pair of jeans, with a dress, with a skirt, with like honestly absolutely anything, but know that my feet aren't going to be broken after a day in London, for example. Whereas I have those evening boots that have that higher heel that I wear for dinners, that I wear for events, when I that I wear when I'm not carrying a suitcase basically. But I just thought these, because they were a little bit of a lower heel, that really nice point and that sock boot detail, they go really nicely with everything. And I think these sock boots just go so nicely with dresses. I feel like that because they hug you around the ankle and they're not too flared, it kind of works. It's really nicely when you're wearing a skirt or a floaty dress. So I just got my hands on some of these from Misguided and I love them. Super, super comfy. I've already worn them like around London and I've just really enjoyed wearing them. So I wanted to share those with you guys as well to end the video. So there's some really amazing new in pieces that I've, I've been kindly gifted or I've purchased myself. I just thought I'd share with you guys some of those pieces, whether it inspires you for like any outfit looks or whether or not you've seen a few pieces that you think, okay, that will last me like the whole of autumn and I'm so on board with kind of wearing it and styling that as well. So I will leave all links down below to everything I can find. I have really struggled to find the Zara pieces and the H&M pieces, but I promise you they're in store. You will see them when you go in, they're everywhere. There's masses amounts of them at the moment. And if not, hopefully I would have linked them down below. 
so fingers crossed I find them <laughs> but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I hope in some way you found something you liked or you enjoyed it so yeah let me know what your favorite piece was or if you guys want to see anything else from me over the next few weeks I'm like I've said many times already really enjoying this whole YouTube thing so thank you for supporting me and doing it all I'm yeah I'm just loving it anyway I'll see you guys in the next video lots of love Mwah. Bye.